Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. So I've just got off uh, Christchurch, uh, what's there? can't even talk. I've just got off a Christchurch train station and um, we're going to a pub called The Railway, which is just outside the station, uh, in, the, in, the, in this direction. Um, right, let's head there now. Sorry, all out of practice. Well, I don't film for a, a week. <laughs> I get a bit tongue tied, I'm like, oh, I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, so we're heading this direction. I'll show you. Uh, the railway is on the corner, right down there. And uh, I'm meeting Crouch, so uh, we'll see you there. What's <laughs> so I've just gone for a Madrid. Uh, we've got a nice beer garden. Well, it's all right, you know, it's um, quite small. Yeah. Like that ticket office. Yeah, just waiting for crash now. Um, yeah, this is the start of a little pub call. Don't know where we're going to go next, but uh, well, let's wait and see. No, there's a sign over it. This platform for trains to Bournemouth, Port Wareham, Dorchester and Wim Weymouth over footbridge for trains to Southampton and East, blah 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 blah. Yeah, that was quite a nice touch. And the Crouch has arrived. Cheers. He's on the, what are you on? Uh, Prava. Prava. I thought a nice light beer to start the day, I think. Yeah. There's, uh, yeah, it's still in the railway. Uh, we don't know where we're going next. There is a possibility of uh, getting a bus to Highcliffe because there's a food festival. Yeah. So I might check that out. Uh, might hit another pub in Christchurch first and see how it goes. Cheers. Well, next I've just gone for a Corona. I'm just waiting for the crowd to finish his pints. So I thought I'll, I'll get something a little bit smaller to uh, <laughs> <laughs> just while I wait, you know. So we found this place in Christchurch. Uh, Bonafide wines. We're just going to see if we can get a pint here or a drink and sit on the, one of these benches. Let's have a look. Oh, so you've got, what's that, magnet? Magnet? Magnets? Mm. Magnets? Magnets, yes. Magnets. I'm very tempted to go for an FS draft. Oh, it's Ukraine. Oh, it's from Ukraine, is it? Yeah. Okay. Should we try two of those? Sure, yeah. So, here we are. We've got uh, this Ukrainian beer. Called, uh, well, I'll just say Magnet. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, pour away, Grouch. So, um, it's 5.2%. So, uh, see what your thoughts are on it, Crouch. Oh, that's a nice, tasty beverage. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> no words of stone cold, Steve Austin. <laughs> so, we're, we're, we're really keen on a busy road here. Uh, as you can see. So, um, yeah, let's try it. Definitely got a different taste to uh, what I've just been drinking. I think I've just finished a Corona, so a bit of a change in taste buds there. Taste, taste buds? Well, you know what I mean. I don't know, right? it's quite malty. Yeah, it's a bit malty. Quite malty. Yeah. Created in Ukraine. Light so barley malt. And I think the good thing about this is it's actually been. Uh, Imported. Imported. I need to say deported. <laughs> it, it imported from Ukraine. Uh, it says there, light beer magnet pasteurised. I thought that was milk. So, ingredients water, light barley, malt, hop. There we are. Made in Ukraine. Yeah, that's alright, it's not too bad. I don't think I could drink like pint after pint of it. But just a pint. Yeah. 
I forgot to mention this cost this this round two beers four pounds something I think it was about four fifty four sixty nine something like that. Yeah. How you expect to pay for one beer, let exactly, so I'm speechless. So guys, um, I want to say if you're in Christchurch, we're in, we're in this, the Bargates part of Christchurch, uh, please come to Bonafide Wines. Uh, it's, a lo it's a very local, very um, it's an independent shop basically. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear me over this traffic. It's an independent uh, shop, um, so it's run by one guy. Um, you can do private functions where you can wine taste, uh, beer taste, stuff and that sort of thing. So yeah, come visit. Uh, it's called Bonafide Wines. I'll show you a picture of the... And they serve coffee as well. Coffee? They serve coffee as well. And they serve coffee as well. So yeah, you're supporting an independent shop. That's, that's the main thing. So come down if you're in Christchurch. So we're in the uh, Saxon bar. I've just ordered a blood orange cider. Crouch is still deciding. So we're at the Saxon Bar. Yeah, uh, there we are, Saxon Bar. As you probably tell on a lot of my videos, I've been here a few times. But I've got a blood orange cider this time. Um, let me just turn around. So we've got blood orange cider. And we've gone for these crisps. Two farmers. And this is Herefordshire. Sausage and mustard flavour. Matt uh, crouches on the. Is it called Spiral? Spirals Pale Ale. Spirals Pale Ale. Yeah. 4.4, I think. Do you want to have a gulp and see what you think? It's got quite a citrusy taste, man. It's actually really nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah I thought it smelled like cat pee, but. <laughs> it's an interesting colour. It's, uh, it's really tasty. Right. Let's have a taste of the old blood orange cider. It doesn't taste like blood orange, but it's quite nice. <laughs> it's not fizzy, it's not carbonated. But yeah, I'm going to get into these crisps. And uh, actually, if you want to open the bag, I will uh, do a review in a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, we popped it. Oh, sun just reflected into my eye then. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's off the table. <laughs> right, I dig in then you have it. You'll try one first. Yeah. They hit you off with the mustard, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, quite tangy. Yeah. But you got that hit of mustard was quite hot. Yeah, not bad. Hmm. I'll tell you what, it's a very strange day today. It's, it's boiling hot and sunny at one minute, and then it's like, now it's like this. It's cool, the, the sun's gone in. Yeah, but yeah, I'm struggling through these crisps now. They're okay, but yeah. Right then, we've left the Saxon bar. So the next pub is, sorry if I keep, I keep pointing at the camera like a, a dictator, no, um, anyway, um, we're going to the George next, we're not doing the High Cliff Food Festival anymore, the more we yeah. sat, the more, <laughs> the more we sat, the more we drank, the later we got, yeah, so yeah, we, um, just like, yeah, solid. we're just going to stick around Christchurch for a while, and we might go back to that uh, uh, Bonafide Wines, yes, uh, we're just gonna just going on the underpass now, but um, yeah. So next stop, the George. Yeah, we're gonna go in the George in a minute. We thought we would go into the King's Arms. I think it's all the King's Arms, or the King's Head. It's the King's Summit. So uh, yeah, we are. We'll see you in there. It's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be expensive. So we're outside this place, the King's Arms Hotel. That's where we're gonna go. There's like a little night thing in there as well, isn't it? A night? Or a night, medieval looking down. Alright, well, we'll see you in there. <laughs> so, 
looks quite fancy, isn't it? We don't have a garden. Uh, our outside area is basically just by the road. Through summer, when we haven't got a fence and such on, we'll have um, so the lawn across the road, by the way, uh, where it is. We'll have some seats here across there as well. So, one for the Cornish orchids. Thank you. Orchids. Yeah. Cornish orchids. And you're on a Grosh. You're on a 4.5% yours, is You don't see Grosh very much, do you? No, I mean, that's what I thought I'd give it. So, I'm going to try and I'm going to have a taste of this. Too bad. Um, it's quite very apple. Sorry? Very apple. -y. Apple. Yeah. So, Grosh uh, time. Not too bad. It's um, quite a poppy. Yeah. I always found them at Grosh years ago. Mm. I'll tell you what. It's changed a bit now since I last came. Probably about. 20 years ago, I think. I'll show my age. Yeah, about 20 years ago, last time I came here. And uh, yeah, there was a little beer festival when I think, last time. I think it's gone for a few ownerships and chain uh, hotels. And yeah, so it's owned by some chain hotel, I think. But um, yeah, it's quite swanky. It's quite swanky. That's yeah. fine. Coming for the birds. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, it can't be a, a pink flamingo. Is that a, is that a pink flamingo? I think it is. Mm. Yeah. I feel a bit underdressed. <laughs> Winchester Tavern t-shirt and combat trousers. Yeah. Shorts. Shorts. Combat shorts. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, we don't know where we're going next, but we'll see on the next one. I mean, I'm not ending it here. I mean, we'll see you in the next bit. Cheers. And I must stop pointing as well. We're very tempted to have a drink in here. I don't know if you can actually get alcohol in here, but um, it's proper like Tudor looking, which I really like. It's proper oldie woldie. It's right next to the old ruins, and you've got Norman House over there. So they do sell alcohol. So we're sat outside in the, in the little garden here. It's very yeah. nice. Um, We've got a great view of the um, of the old tower. I, I, I don't know what to call it, but we're all bending around and yeah, we've got that right in the background now. It's very nice. <laughs> so yeah, well, uh, it's a very nice place. We'll see you in a minute. So the drinks have arrived. Uh, Crouch is on Asahi. Uh, I've gone for Cornish orchids, cherry. Blackberry cider, and they've got a bit of strawberry and a bit of orange in there. Quite nice. I might come in for some food sometime because this place looks nice. I tell you what, the food smells very nice in it. So, type of taste test. It doesn't taste like you're drinking alcohol. It's four percent. Yeah, it's four percent. So. You know, it's not overly strong, but it's refreshing. It's a, it's, it's on and off a hot day. <laughs> one minute it's winter, one minute it's sunny. But seems like a nice summer drink to be honest. Yeah, it's nice. The orange and the, and the strawberry in there is a nice touch. Mm, very nice. I rate that about a good seven and a half. Yeah, so this place is called uh, Dirty Gerties. Show your name. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's a nice place. Probably enjoyed that one. Bit of a hidden gem, that one. So yeah, we'll uh, see in a bit. Before we might, before we might um, go in here, crema, crema, cafe bar. Let's have a look. Southwest orchids, orchids. Oh, is that? Five percent. Is it all joy? 
Yeah, it's not bad. I've gone for a half. It's quite nice, actually. Um, you're on the cruise company. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's a nice Spanish beer. So, two for 12 on cocktails. In the happy hour, of course. Happy hour. I'll go for that one. Old star martini. <laughs> yeah, we're not going for the uh, old star martini, then we're going for uh, what's it called? Limoncello spritz. Limoncello spritz. Yeah, it wasn't part of the deal. So, uh, <laughs> Prosecco and soda. Yeah. So we're sat outside the uh, creme, creme, uh, creme bar. So, um, so, what's your thoughts then, so about this pub crawl? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I was just saying. Um, I've seen a different view of Cloisters I haven't really seen before. So nice hidden little gems around here. Yeah. So we got this um, like lemon cocktail. Lemon cello or something. Lemon like cello. Yeah. So, try it. It's quite oddly watery, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite sweet. Yeah. You always make yeah. sweetness with cocktails. Yeah. So it's got Prosecco in it. Prosecco? Prosecco? Prosecco. Yeah, it's not as uh, sharp as I was expecting. No. No, it's more sweet than sharp. Yeah. It's, it's not... It's a very sweet lemon. A bit like a sherbet lemon, I suppose. You know, yeah. really sweet. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's the first time we've been in it, so... Um, we'll uh, bring you back in a second when we're in the next place. Don't know where we're going. I have no idea. Right, we've left yeah. Creme. Just creme to the creme. Over yeah. there. Creme. Uh, creme. Bad cocktail. Bad cocktail. Yeah, it was alright. It was alright. So we're we're heading towards the boathouse now. Uh, we could go in the Thomas trip, but it's a bit busy. We could do that on the way back. Possibly could do. So boat house. Funny motorbikes. Boat boathouse is next. And we'll see you. Sorry, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit uh, on the way now. We're both on the way now, aren't we? Yes. On the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah what about uh, you it does. <sighs> oh, Christchurch foot, foot Clinic. Sorry, easily distracted. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you in a sec. So, we're walking towards the, uh, the boathouse. <laughs> Crouch is marching forwards because he really needs a wee. So, uh, yeah, um, well, we'll see you when we're inside. So yeah, we're going for gin tonics. I got for beef here, gin. You've gone for the Plymouth gin. Plymouth gin, yes. Yeah. Right. It's a bit swanky in here. It's a bit, <laughs> you know, it's a young person's place. Well, I think mine costs about one pound fifty more than yours did. Yeah. So yours is twelve pound fifty, wasn't it? Twelve seventy five. Twelve seventy five. Right. Mine was eleven something. Eleven twenty five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's not somewhere I normally come. And we actually asked for the less ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to ask him to put some ice in a spare glass because they really filled the ice. I mean, it was like up to there. So, uh, yeah, won't be coming back here again, that's for sure. So, we're in Thomas Trip now. Yes. Uh, you've got Amstel. Amstel, yeah. And I've got a vodka and coke. So, so they've got, they got some food going out here. So a nice big uh, big oven there, big stone oven. They've got... Um, yeah. so got so nice. so we are the, we're the tap house now, in Tucton. Yes. So you're on the, you're half a Tuctonia, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, that's 4.7%, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. 